anytime I do anything drastic. I did the pink hair she complained. Why did what you go? Why did you? Do, 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 do. Mom, it's not how how is ginger hair unusual? That's not ginger. Are you gonna tell Ed Sharon that his hair is unusual? That, that one is his natural hair. But this could look as good as my natural hair. My natural hair is gold. Yeah, gold is different from that one. Sis, I've never said anything when you went maroon. But I, I don't do unusual colors, How is this unusual? It's nice. <clears throat> so my mum was like laughing at my hair color, but I don't understand why. I mean, I'm sure if I put this wig on her, it wouldn't look this cute. I mean, she's a beautiful woman, but <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so I don't know whether to style it like white girl or bad B. Do you get me? Because, you know since people mistake me for being white i mean i'm practically white but what are the stereotypes of like white people and should i get offended like for example white people love mayonnaise i love mayonnaise honestly if you're to give me ketchup or mayonnaise i'll go for mayo what other stereotype that white people are racist <laughs> Um, <clears throat> we'll not answer that. What other stereotype is it for white people? <laughs> yeah, what other stereotypes that white people can't dance? Uh, well, I can dance actually. Uh, white people ain't got ass. Um, I've seen a lot of white girls with nice booties, or real nice booties. What else? That white people can't cook. Uh, um, we might not. <laughs> I mean. We might not all like jollof, but it, yeah, and we might not all want to cook fufu every day. We like a bit of salmon. Jeez, do you know what? I, I feel like I'm actually so white, but I feel like it's only because I've grown up in England and I want to try different things from my culture. <laughs> but I feel so white. So yeah, I've just finished doing my makeup, but I'm actually really liking this hair color, especially because it's going to be summer. So if, do you know how nice it looks when I've like beat my face? I mean, it's definitely bright, but you can't always be dull. Do you get me? I'm so used to doing like subtle colors. I mean, here and there I do blue, red, but not a lot. But I just want to be confident in this color and not change it just like as of yet. So, in the mirror it looks nice. I don't know why on camera it looks orange. Like, you get what I mean. But yeah, I really do like this hair. I just can't wait. I've obviously straightened it with... Where's that brush? With like the brush. Let me look for it actually. <clears throat> uh oh that's weird oh yeah i've like gone through in this brush but it hasn't done anything yeah it hasn't done much uh so i'm hoping it takes well to heat and doesn't fry like do you know how cheap wigs usually fry when you put them to heat but yeah, I feel like this hair colour really goes well with my skin, especially if I do a tan. Like I, I've I've done a self tan now. But obviously because it's a gradual tan, it's not gonna show up till tomorrow. So yeah. Um yeah, I've gone through with this. Um, not much has changed to be fair. It's, it still feels like it's on. It still feels like how it did when I received it. So it's basically doing minimal, minimal, yeah, minimal straightening. But if it takes heat well, like it's taken this one, then I'll be impressed. I might feather it so that it doesn't, so that it's, look, look so that it frames my face. Because at the moment it's just like, you know it just starts here so i might do some layers and feather it a little bit just so it frames my face a bit more 
yeah so it's got a lot of work in terms of like manipulating and gluing and stuff but for now like just for doing errands and stuff like that i'll leave it like this for now i'm enjoying this wig i'm not gonna lie it's not tangling i've had it for 24 hours well almost anyway i've had it for most of the day and it's not tangling it's it's barely shedding like one or two strands <clears throat> you know and i've combed it several times so i'm just praying that it stays like this um yeah i really do enjoy this hair so yeah if <clears throat> if it holds up then obviously i'll i'll definitely like show you the link below because she's got loads of wigs and they're quite cheap this one was less than 200 pound and i got i think i got 10 percent off yeah i got 10 percent off and this is on ebay so yeah like i just wanted something for the summer like this is a good summer look if you do a nice makeup look with it this this will make a good summer look do you get me yeah and then if it holds up then obviously i'll dye it but i think for my skin i need to actually kind of go for the lighter colors like this and not listen to what my mom is saying because <laughs> you know because I think for me, I allow people to like tell me certain things and then I, I take it personally. But no, this color is good for my skin. Look, look at that. Look at how it's matching my eyeshadow. Do you get me? Like it's, 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 it's dope. I'm not going to lie to you. So anyway, if you want this brush, this brush is from, I bought it. Uh, when they were doing the when, when they were advertising this on TV, um, I bought it in Boots, but I I found it on sale. Yeah, I'm talking a lot. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but yeah, I found it on sale, and this was just near the end of when they stopped selling these, so I found it in Boots. But if I find it online, I'll also link it down below because I love it. Like I use it on my synthetic wigs. Um, I also use it on my human wigs for just that natural look. It's not going to give you, you know, the hot comb. It's not going to give you like that, that look like the proper straight, but it does a natural look like this so that you haven't got too many flyaways and, you know, just keep your hair a bit more tame and more straight. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting ready to record another video. Hence why I've done my makeup and stuff. So, yeah. Anything else that I need to speak on? Mm. No, so we're just waiting for the bus to go to town. Um, I haven't straightened this hair. I just basically... I just did a side part and then just put a little bit of oil and combed it. But yeah. I've obviously come back for the like for the French tips. Um, these are the ones I initially came back for, but I found. Oops, I found these, and and I found like these oval ones. So I'm gonna get them. They've got other styles like, oh no, no, mm -mm. oh these look kind of cute though, but I just want like basic stuff for, mm -mm. no, they're more autumn vibe, but I just want like basic, basic stuff for basic nails for yeah oh no Oops. yeah just basic nails for like if I'm going somewhere or do you get what I mean like if I'm not doing the most yeah 
just because it's not everyday long nails. Um, yeah. I'm not sure to get more French, like to get loads of French chips or what. How many are in a pack? 24. 24, that's enough though for a while. It's not like I'm going somewhere every day. Mm, what else have they got? <clears throat> I finally found my beauty blender. So, yeah. Let me get some shopping done. So, Pound Ladder's got some educational posters. So, I'm gonna get some for the house. So good morning guys, um, today is a Tuesday and I'm just like doing some chores, like folding some clothes and <clears throat> yeah, I'm also trying to waist train, like corset train, um, yeah it's slightly tight but I can manage, so I've been able to manage to like wash the dishes and um, obviously do little bits around the house with it on but yeah just because i want to get rid of like my f uh my food part um though i've lost weight like on the top <clears throat> i'm finding that i'm like size 12 and on the bottom i'm size 16 but yeah i just because it's summer i want to be able to look good in like you know tight tight clothes so yeah this is why i've got it on uh, <clears throat> I'm also trying to drink like my lemon water. There's a couple of herbs in there. Uh, yeah. Which herbs do I have? Sand. Hmm? Sand. Sand? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm trying to drink my herbs. Um. I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten which herbs I put in there. But yeah, and also we've been getting used to like, um, you know, to these. <clears throat> so yesterday I was um, like teaching him how to tell the time and stuff like that. And yeah, this helps so that we can, you know, go through the day together. Because sometimes I'm even forgetting what day it is just because obviously I'm not working. <clears throat> like I'm yeah obviously because I'm not working outside so I'm forgetting what day it is just because everything around the house sometimes is repetitive so <clears throat> this actually helps me as well just to remember what day it is um yeah and it also keeps on top of like what he needs to do um instead of me always having to shout like oh eat your breakfast finish your breakfast oh thank you mister <clears throat> Uh -uh. So if it's in, if it's on there, at least he knows that he has to eat his breakfast if he wants his, if he wants his reward, which is ice cream. Um, using the potty. So if he uses the potty, you know, at the end of the week he gets five pounds and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just getting used to that. But I should have put it higher just because he's rubbing things off. So I'm gonna try stick it somewhere higher yeah so i've um stuck this one in here and like changed changed some things just because he was rubbing them off um yeah so it's not always like it's not always that you have to reward them with like um sweets and stuff sometimes just a kiss story time play date yeah so to be honest he's doing very well like he's all he's <coughs> he's a very good boy um we don't always so hi guys like i've just i've just gotten to tesco and obviously just trying to do a bit of shopping i've had to use the toilet at tesco just because <coughs> basically i've got a new tenant at my house and then he you know i don't know if because I always keep the house clean. I try to go over everything every day. But I don't know if he was expecting me to clean up the toilet every day. Which, okay, it's possible. But then, this is the issue. Like, he just used the toilet and then left some skid marks. 
and I'm not cleaning them up. So I had to knock on his door and be like, could you please close the, could you please like clean the toilet? And he just gave me a bit of attitude, like mm, no worries. By the end of the day, like it's common sense. If you've done a poo and then you leave skid marks, like you, you just brush them away. Then I don't mind doing a thorough clean. It's like, even little things like lifting up the seat, I don't think he does that. You know, so yeah. So there's just little little things that I'm like, was I ready to live with somebody? And the fact that he's not he's not messy, however, I personally wanted somebody who's always away from the house. Just because it's easier to just and then obviously I told him when he moved in that he can use he can use the freezer as long as he gets a little basket to put his stuff in so that we know he's his. And because he was too shy to just you know put the stuff in the freezer while I was there, he he then filled up the fridge like with loads of stuff, even bananas, which do bananas go in the fridge? So it's like I don't really have space in my own fridge to like, oops, yeah, I don't really have space in my fridge at the minute to put my own little things. I mean, I know I'm on a diet and I, like, I don't really have that much, but he's a single person. <laughs> Why is he filling up the fridge? Every day he's always going to Tesco. He's always like, I'm off to Tesco, I'm off to Tesco. And he's already got food in the fridge. And it's like, be considerate because where do you think I'm gonna put my stuff? But yeah, that's the drama I'm having. With this whole having a tenant. <laughs> Sorry, I've left my son over there. Yeah, that's the whole drama I'm having of having a tenant. But yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, I felt so awkward knocking on his door to ask him like, could you please, could you please clean the, your, your skid marks? Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was quite embarrassing. Other than that, he seems friendly, like he's, he says he likes to fix things, so he's fixed quite a few things in the house, which in a way, no, actually. He says he likes to fix things. The only good thing he's done is like dismantle my bed. The thing, like the loft door, he wasn't able to fix it, so I had to stick it back with sellotape, which he could have just done. And then what else? But I guess because he wanted a, he he thought I wanted like a thorough job, like he was wondering why it came undone because he tried to stick it back, but. But yeah, it wasn't sticking back. Um, what else? Yeah. So he's gonna be a handy guy because he he says he likes to fix things. You know. But I don't like this thing of always hello, good morning, hi. Like I don't like people always coming when I'm. I don't like people always coming into the kitchen when I'm cooking because it's like I just want my own space to think and just make a mess and then clean and then you can come in and make your mess. Do you get me? But he wants to go and talk and ask me about the heaver. These times when I... <laughs> there was one night. There was one night I was sitting in the lounge. He came out like four times. Oh, sorry. Um, I've changed my light bulb, so you can have this one. It came out. Sorry, I wanted to find out where the Hoover is. Oh, sorry. This and this and this. And I'm like, eh. <clears throat> you know, it's just a bit much. But it's not something we can't live without. It's just, yeah, it's just a bit odd. Yeah, plus I never really... Oh, I didn't show you that me and Dion are matching. Yeah, I didn't show you guys. 
so I never really see him bathing. What else do I need? Yeah, I never see him taking a thorough bath. Like when he's going to work, I never hear. You know when somebody's bathing, they take a thorough splash. Yeah. Plus, the house is always smelling. I don't want to complain or sound rude, but the house is always smelling of, you know, certain foods, and I'm like. But it is where it is, because at least it keeps the windows open, do you get me? But it's just, like he knows, after he's done a poo, like he opens the windows and stuff. I hope he really, I hope he doesn't see this shit. But it's just personal hygiene. I just wanted somebody like who's a professional. Do you get me? Because like, just because there's no shower, that shouldn't hinder you not to take a bath. There's a whole big bucket where you can rinse yourself. So that's why I'm just baffled as to you. I can't even buy cauliflower because where will I put it? Where will I even put it? Oh. So yeah, that's what I've been going through at home. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> to be honest, he's a nice, friendly guy. But it's just I feel like because I'm such a reserved person and I like my space, so it's just gonna be, it's not been as bad as I thought, but it's just, it's just because I can be nosy, do you know, because you never know who you're living with, so sometimes you have to be a bit nosy because you're in your personal space. Trying to do, trying to do these things. Oh yeah, that's very good. So I'm trying to get um like five bits of veg, just because obviously I'm still on keto, though I've been bad. So I've got mushrooms, beans, asparagus, cauliflower, avocado. I need some type of salad. <coughs> yeah, I need some type of salad. This one's already stolen the banana. <laughs> ah. Cheers. But it is the way it is. So during like every morning I usually have this with lemon, like squeezed lemon. Uh to be honest, I've heard somewhere that it's better for you than just normal water. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, plus it tastes nicer. Though my favorite is this one, but I feel like it's got some type of artificial sweetener. Uh, let me see the ingredients. Ingredients: coconut, sodium, something, something. Yeah, sweetener. It's got sweetener. So, though I like this, like. This coconut water then I usually squeeze um, then I usually squeeze lemon but I don't think it's that good for keto I've heard that coconut isn't the best for keto but to be honest hello we've been having pasta this one coconut water uh, not some concentrate and then from concentrate doesn't say nothing about sweetener I don't remember I don't remember the taste of this one but it's not usually the one I usually get which brand is that because that's a different brand uh, so I've just gotten home mm -hmm. yeah so I'm just home now I got um I got like I got strawberries on sale so like this whole thing was like 175 then i got mushroom uh cauliflower broccoli <clears throat> yeah i got quite a few things so i'm just picking them away and then this just came from amazon it's actually quite nice so oh, i look so dull but yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're just putting some stuff away. Like the produce that we've got. I'm really enjoying keto because I'm not craving certain things. The thing about keto is that, like, it actually, like, yesterday I was drinking and smoking, but I hated it. Do you get me? Because the moment you go on keto, you actually start, you actually stop craving, like, junk. Though yesterday I did have a whole chocolate bar, like a whole nut chocolate bar but that's because i actually liked the nuts more than the chocolate like i finished the nuts before like i kept on nibbling the nuts basically before even finishing the chocolate bar but i just finished it because obviously it just looked weird without the nuts which on keto they do say you know eat more nuts more veg if you're gonna eat chocolate let it be dark chocolate but Dark chocolate is too bitter for me sometimes. Though when it's salted, like if it's salted caramel, it's got little bits in it, then I can eat it. Anyway, so, yeah, that was last night. We had a good time, like we were sharing a lot, talking about mental health and stuff like that. How, yeah, just any little thing can, you know, trigger people's mental health but it also matters what you say you know just a lot of things just a lot of things really yeah so um gosh i'm totally forgetting that i'm recording so yeah let me show you guys the nails that i got from tk maxx so i got the french tips because obviously i'm I want to do that you know the new trending one where the tip the tip is quite thin so obviously I got these for that um, I also got I also bought um, where is that oh my goodness I also bought um, is it cuticle oil just because my cuticles are pretty rough and yeah i sometimes bite them as well so though the ingredients that are in it are just apricot oil castor oil and sweet almond which funny enough i already have these oils in my essential oil collection come in <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put some tea tree oil into this. Tea tree oil. Yeah, tea tree oil. Just because tea tree oil is good for like um, open cuticles. It also helps like reduce infections and stuff like that. Um, is it an anti-inflammatory? I don't know. Yeah, Google what tea tree oil is good for. All right, do you want to come and show? Yeah. You come and show us. Yeah, I, I showed you these. Yeah. So then I got these oval ones. I think I showed you when I was buying them. Just because I feel like these ones will look cuter when I go to the all-white party. And then I got these just for, like, you know, every day. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I might do them tonight just because... I feel so bare without nails and I'm just biting my natural nails and I hate biting my nails. So, and then I got these just because they're not matte. Yeah. And they'll look like, I love the look of these coffin nails. I love the look of coffin nails. Though, I know Poundland sell these for a pound. So, to, and to be honest, I'm going to start buying the Poundland ones. Let me see... Just because I didn't like how the ones from Poundland were making me scratch, like, my skin. Plus, they were they were kind of painful around my cuticle. But I think that's because, yeah, they're definitely they're the same. I'm not going to lie to you. 
let me let me actually show you oh no 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 i was totally wrong these are way stiffer they're 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 definitely more stiffer so what are you eating are you eating sugar from a packet sugar <laughs> he's eating starbucks sugar okay mm. the sugar these times i'm telling you guys about keto but yeah these no they're stiff so they 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 they're worth the price because the 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 pound and ones i don't know if i've got them close like the pound and ones are so flimsy and they hurt around the cuticle they're yeah no these ones these ones are good so yeah if you go to tk max and get yourself Ooh. these Mm. Yeah, I don't know if this glue is better than the pound, the the Primark one. I'm saying Poundland, but look how much how much nail glue they give you. But to be honest, have you ever noticed that you always have so much nail glue lying around when you buy falsies? Just because, yeah. So maybe that's enough. So they give you enough for like the the actual packet. Ah, oh, dear. So, yeah, no. So, yeah, if you go to to most TK Maxx, I mean, I'm sure you can find these I'm on. Sure. I'm sure you can find these online. T uh, they're called Tip Beauty. Yeah, they come with the glue, and I think they come twenty four. Yeah, twenty four nails. Ooh, jeez. Twenty four nails. They 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 look good these also come 24 um i haven't checked if there's if they're i haven't checked their stiffness but they're in vogue yeah in vogue so uh, when i put them on i'll let you know how yeah i'll let you know how that goes um if you want to know where my kaftan is my kaftan how long have i been speaking okay that's not bad yeah <clears throat> my kaftan is from amazon i actually saw like my my baby dad's ex wearing it <laughs> i actually saw my baby dad's ex wearing it so i liked it on her because it's like a it's like a simple something i like to be comfortable around the house especially now that i have a tenant and i don't really want him seeing me in like boy shorts or naked though everything is always jiggling i mean but it's better so yeah and, and then i also saw this kenyan auntie right um i also saw this kenyan auntie wearing this exact one so i thought probably when she went to kenya she bought it when she went there only is only that i saw it on um some girl was was sharing on tiktok that's when she said that's where she got it and i was like oh wait i've seen this kaftan on so many people oh me i'm thinking maybe they they traveled to get it these times it's only on amazon but yeah it's so it's so comfortable um yesterday i got it wet and it dry like i wore it like that but it, it yeah so i'll link the links down below of everything um, I'm just enjoying like a green juice at the minute. It's got apple, celery, lemon and lime, cloves and ginger. Um, yeah. And it's easier when it's not a smoothie like. Because I always thought that you had to drink it with the bits. But it's a juice. That's why they call it a green juice. So, yeah. Dieting is actually much easier than people think it is. Because... It keeps you focused on other things other than just comfort eating. Picked up this boy after nursery. Uh. <laughs> so basically, this boy has been crying to go to the bakery. So he's been okay. Though at nursery, they're saying he hasn't been helping to tidy up. So. I didn't really want to take him but because he's been good at home I just said let me take him to the bakery hmm hmm where are you crying to go 
Hmm? Tell them you want to go to the bakery. Huh? Are you going to promise to help tidy up at nursery? No. Oh. <laughs> I want to go to the bakery. We can only go if you promise that you're going to help tidy up at nursery. Yeah, I need to Alright, fine. You see, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else's little boy is a bit stubborn like mine. But, yeah. So, I don't know if I should just get him something small from Greg's. Because... Though I do want a little sit down with him, but it's the end of the month. <laughs> Slightly, slightly dry. Plus, you know, with sweet things, they always taste nice with the coffee or tea. But I don't really like their hot beverages. So, I'll probably save half of the cake and then eat it when I get home. Are you enjoying it? Mm -hmm. You don't understand how the whole week all I've been hearing is bakery, bakery. Hopefully it will calm him down. So, I know I've been telling you guys about some all white party. And then, so... I had an issue where the postage went into the wrong, like the guy posted it in the wrong letterbox. However, the letterbox he's posted it in, the person hasn't been there for a couple of weeks. So today I went knocking, like I went knocking to see, you know, if she can, if she can, you know, give me my parcel. Um... Because I had to look closely at the picture that he, you know, he said he posted and it was not my letterbox, but it was like a slight, just a slight difference. So then today, I went to knock downstairs because obviously it's my downstairs flatmate. But then I've realised she hasn't been there for a couple of weeks, I haven't seen her. So that means I haven't got an outfit for this event like and this is the place where I'm actually trying to celebrate my birthday so this is quite annoying which I'm thinking to wait till she comes back because I, I don't know if she's gonna come back anytime soon because I think she's got a boyfriend so I'm guessing she's going to live with a boyfriend or, or to tell misguided is it misguided or missy empire that i haven't received my parcel or to just buy another outfit which is gonna cost me obviously more money but how long have i got left i've got like a week left hmm. we'll wait and see we're back home and i've just received like this big parcel don't you yeah <clears throat> i've just received this big parcel from <clears throat> from zimbabwe yeah so my brother sent it it's kind of like stuff that i'm gonna be selling so yeah guys um i'll list you the benefits of 
these herbal teas. Um, we use them in our native country, Zimbabwe. But I need, I know like what they're good for. However, I need him to like proper clarify and specify what each one is used for. And I know um, purity is an, Afro, an aphrodisiac. So yeah, if you're interested, as you can see, there's a big, there's a big um, box with loads of things. Um, yeah. Um, one thing I like about herbal medicine is that it's natural, so you don't really get side effects as much as like pharmace pharmaceutical um, products. They're you know they're natural and they've been used for centuries you know so yeah anyway so as i said we use these in our um native countries of zimbabwe so southern africa i know they use most of this stuff like dorani yeah um yeah anyway let me just get the details and then i'll let you know it's evening time and i'm just catching up with alia's face um mm -mm. I just made some banging ass pillow rice with with beef. Like if you're on my snap. Yeah. I wish I could show you. Actually, let me show you. I'm nice like, banging. The beef is so like juicy. And crispy. Oh shoot! And everybody knows I'm on keto, but I can't do it today because all my veggies ran out. And it's at the end of the month, so my money's like down. Yeah. So today has been a cheat day. But yeah, this is this is hitting. So I've cooked a lot so that at least my son can enjoy it during the week. You know, for dinner. Is it nice? Is it nice? Yes. Mm. I know I'm going to be bloated. But it's worth it. To be honest, I think this is much better than, like, takeaway. So, yeah. We just, like, ate some fruits and just been chilling. yeah so i've just finished like um cutting my cuticles yeah i've just finished cutting my cuticles and then i oiled them with this um cow shed cuticle oil i'm not gonna lie to you it smells amazing and to be honest it softened my cuticles like they're usually very cracked after i cut them and saw but it softened them so yeah, um, I just did a little pamper evening. We've cut his nails. Um, I also put the cuticle oil on his on his nails as well. Um, I didn't cut his cuticles though. But yeah, today I also got this um lips like this lip scrub thingy. It's like a glove for your finger, and you scrub your lips and. I'm not going to lie, they've been soft all day. Yeah. I washed off my makeup. And my skin feels alright. So, ooh, I'm just catching up with um, Selling Sunset. I'm not going to lie, it's so good. Well, jarring but good. Anyway. So, tomorrow we're just going to chill indoors. I've had to order like three other outfits for this all white party. Though they're not exactly what I wanted, but you know, just for just you know. It's a Thursday and it's like almost 12. Um, I've put on my. Oh, I've put on my corset. Um, yeah, like I usually put it on when I'm doing chores around the house, just so that I maintain a good posture 
and yeah it also helps me not to like get bloated and you know it's it cinches my waist so yeah um i've bought it from corset story and they do a deal where you get like four for one so i've managed to buy like the one i use for the gym which it's like a latex, uh, latex corset and i find it better because it's got bra straps so it's not like the normal corset which gives you like you know like this bulge <laughs> when you're waist training so it actually goes over your bra it, it you know it's got bra straps so that at least you know it it, it keeps everything uniform and i also usually wear that one like under my clothes um yeah so i need to actually get some new ones just because everything ever since i've been like on keto and been been gymming it's gone like i don't i don't fit in it do you get what i mean like it's it's too big now so i need to get a size smaller so yeah um <clears throat> as i said they do a four for one deal which is amazing um their their corsets are like top brand i'm not gonna lie to you they're the best corsets or waist cinches that i've used um you know yeah what else so i've just been cleaning around the house what have i got to do today Today I just got to tidy up the house. Um, it's also my self care day, so though I did my nails, I, like I did my cuticles yesterday, I need to do my face, and I still got little bits to cut. Do you get me? Yeah, I still got little bits to, to file and cut. Um, I might do my feet today. Then I also need to take my son to the park just so he can have a run around. Yeah. <clears throat> so i'm actually so broke like all my three accounts are in minus well one's in zero and then the rest are in minus now i know but luckily a friend of mine i asked him i think a few weeks ago um to lend me some money to get some na my nails done and um he came to the house and like gave me 50 pounds he's like look i haven't forgotten here's the money for your nails which was nice so i still got cash plus there's like other little cash cash in hand bits that i've been doing for people so i've got cash at home luckily but it's just my bank account is crying right now but tomorrow i'll sort it all out because tomorrow i get paid said how long i put my corset on for i usually put it on for five to eight hours and i'm not gonna lie it doesn't hurt if your corset hurts when you put it on then it's either too tight you've got it too like up your torso this one is right below my crutch like, right above my crutch so it doesn't hurt me at all do you get me like it doesn't feel i don't feel any discomfort i can because me my arch on my back is very i've got like a, a very arched back but i can still you know i can still lean back a bit i'm just soaking my my dishcloths ew they were filthy like i do it once every week even my scourers this needs to go in there so i soak them in hot water once every week <clears throat> my tenant yeah has left this milk there ill for the past two weeks ill but i'm not gonna go and tell him i mean it's common sense <clears throat> do you get me ain't it common sense that you should throw it away but yeah i'm just gonna put a sticker on it to say please throw because come on now it's just a lot to be fair like there's an odd smell in the fridge i just but i'm not a horrible person so it's like how do i say but i feel 